G'day, g'day, how are we all? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods for my summer car, but the better and updated version. Let's get into it. First thing you're going to need before installing any mods, and that is a file extractor. This is so you can extract files that you have downloaded so you can use them. In this video, we'll be using WinRAR as it's a common extractor. Now what you're going to want to do is find where you want to download mods from. There are two websites you can go to, Nexus Mods or Race Department. For this video, I'll be using Nexus Mods as I find it easier to find mods there. You're going to need to either sign in or make an account to be able to download files from Nexus Mods. After all that's done, you're ready to start looking for mods. On the top where the search box is, you want to click on a little box that says Mods. A menu will drop down and you'll want to click on Games. After that's done, you want to type in the search box, My Summer Car. You should see a My Summer Car page down below. This will bring you to where the mods are for My Summer Car. Here, you have the option to see what's new, most popular, or what's trending. Now you've found where to get your mods. To install mods to My Summer Car, you are going to need a mod loader. In my last video, I mentioned that I use MSC Loader Pro. In this video, we are not going to use that. Instead, we are going to be using MSC Loader, but without the Pro. Mod Loader Pro is no longer being updated since 2021, meaning it's outdated. And I've been using Mod Loader and find that it works best with most mods that are up to date. I know a lot of you guys have been having issues with installing mods. This could be why. Anyways, in the search box, you want to type MSC Loader and it should pop up. Click on MSC Loader and you should now be on the main page for the mod. If you scroll down, there will be information about how to install the mod loader, credits, etc. Click on the Files tab and you will have options of what to install. Beware, as there are older versions of the mod that you will be able to download, so make sure you download the latest version to avoid problems. Under Main Files, you'll see MSC Loader, and under that, you will want to click on the orange button that says Manual Download. You will then be brought to this page where you will want to click on Slow Download. You will not need to click on Fast Download since the file is small and you will need Premium, which isn't necessary. After you have clicked on Slow Download, your download should begin with a countdown of 5 seconds. Once done, your download should pop up at the top right of your screen. Next, you're going to open up File Explorer and go down to your downloads. Right click on the WinRAR file and look for Extract Files. After this pop-up appears, make sure your destination path for your extract is where you want it to go. Then click OK. Now your WinRAR file has been extracted and should have created a new folder in your downloads. Drag the new folder onto your desktop. Open the folder and inside should be the installer for the mod loader called mscpatcher.exe. Click on the patcher and the patcher will appear. What you're going to need to do is find where My Summer Car is installed. So to begin, leave your mods folder set as My Documents. Now we are going to find where you have installed My Summer Car. Click on what drive you have installed My Summer Car on. What we're looking for here is the Steam folder that have all your installed games on. The file you're looking for should be called Steam Library. Click on the folder, then the folder called Steam Apps, then click on Common. The games you have installed on this drive should appear. You're looking for My Summer Car. Once you have found My Summer Car, you will want to click on it. Now, click on MySummerCar.exe. Once done, File Explorer will close and now your patcher should have a status showing red, not installed. Now, your checked box below should be set on MSC Game Folder. And below is the destination path in green. What you'll then want to do is click on Install MSC Loader. You should have a pop-up saying install successful. Now you have successfully installed the mod loader for My Summer Car. And now you should have a mods folder automatically placed in your My Summer Car. To confirm that the mod loader is working and installed properly, you will want to load up My Summer Car and the first thing you want to see at the top left corner is the version of the mod loader. And there's also an arrow at the top right of your screen where you can check your mods that you have installed. Sometimes when you load up My Summer Car, you'll get an MSC Loader Update pop-up. Just click yes and then restart your game and then it should automatically update the version of the MSC Loader and then you should be right to go. Now that that's working, you are now ready to install mods for My Summer Car. We are going to head back to Nexus Mods and install the Minimap mod for an example. So in the search box, look up Minimap and click on it. You will then want to click on Files and under Main Files, you will want to click on Manual Download. You will have a pop-up saying additional files required. Below this should show you what files you will need to download for this mod to work. Since it only says MSC Loader, which we already have, we are right to click on download. 
Once again, you'll be brought to this download page and once you click on slow download, after the download has started, your download will appear on the top right of your screen. Then go to downloads in your file explorer and right click on the WinRAR file and extract it. Once done, you should see two files in the mod folder, one being an assets folder and the other being a DLL file. Every mod folder you install should have a DLL file which is the main part of the mod you will need to put in your mods folder. But this mod we have installed has an assets folder, which we will have to put in our mods folder. So to do this, let's find our mods folder to where we have installed My Summer Car. Click on what drive you have installed My Summer Car on. What we're looking for here is the Steam folder that have all your installed games on. Click on the folder, then another folder, Steam apps, and then click on common. The games you have installed on this drive should appear. Once you have found My Summer Car, you will want to click on it. You should be able to see your mods folder. You then want to click on it and inside should be an assets folder with a config and references folder. The one we're going to be focusing on is the assets folder. You will now want to have your My Summer Car mod folder open and your mod folder that you have installed open as well. You will then want to drag your DLL file into your mods folder. Then once that's done, you'll want to go back to your mod that you have downloaded and open assets. You will then want to drag this minimap folder into your My Summer Car mods assets folder. Now you have properly installed the mod. Now open My Summer Car on the main menu, click on the arrow on the top right of your screen and a menu should slide out and you should be able to see minimap. Click on the gear symbol and here you can adjust a few settings for the mod. You can do the same with other mods that support it. Load into the game and you should see the minimap on your screen. However, it's in the middle of the screen, which don't look right. So to move the minimap, you want to press escape and click and drag the minimap to where you want it. So there you go. That's how you install mods from My Summer Car. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're new around here, subscribe. It's always much appreciated. If there are any folders in your mods that you install, such as references, drag the file inside of your mod folder into that one, like with the assets folder. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope this guide helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.